here's the new person that's uh, that's in the spotlight, and it's uh, Stan Lee. Stan Lee from Marvel Comics, uh, you know, the creator of Spider-Man, right. I, you know, Iron Man, like all the, Stan Lee, he got, yeah, he's yeah. in every single... Uh, Cameo champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, 95 years old, and now people are coming out and saying that in the, the old, I guess he's in a, he's got people taking care of him now. Yeah. Uh, Stan Lee's been accused of sexual harassing the nurses that take oh, care of him. Oh, oh no. It says here that uh, he walks around naked. Oh, okay. no. Okay. Uh, it says here that he, uh, he, he'll he grope the nurses every once in a while. It says here he's, he's lost his filter, so he'll say whatever he wants he asks openly for oral he asks for oral yeah yeah, uh, yeah. i i have for, uh, not firsthand experience but but my grandpa got kicked out of where he lived because of this exact same thing yeah yeah and there is no doubt in my mind that he 100 percent knew what he was doing you think and did it on purpose and every time he got caught like he was grabbing people's asses and grabbing them in the front side oh man Says here, according That's to source, That's called the trump according to sources <laughs> Uh, at the uh, the old folks home, he's not an old folks home. It's just the sources, the nurses that take care of him. Uh, says here the Marvel creator doesn't seem to care what people think of him anymore. He's lost his filter. Uh, it says here that uh, he he won't wear any clothes at all, and he thinks it's funny. Uh, and then he also <laughs> he also gets handsy and gropes the women. Uh, it says it's un- unacceptable behavior. Uh, he uh, damn it, ninety five, still feeling it. I think I think just like before you're eighteen, you can't be tried as an adult. I think once you get to 90, nothing can go wrong. Yeah, like, yeah. you're just like, hey, man, he's 94. You're actually allowed to grab him by the, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, because, I mean, what it, the hell? So he, he'll grab their butts. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, but he's 95 years yeah, old. Yeah, I'd want hazard pay. Like, I'd, I'd love to work with him, but I'd just be like, look, if you're going to if you're gonna fill me up occasionally, you got to give me an extra, like, 40 grand a year or something. <laughs> I mean, you <laughs> use that to your advantage. Yeah. Hasn't there I mean, been, 95, like. 95, what's he going to do? You slap him and break him in half. <laughs> There's been, like, scientific proof, isn't it, that as you get older, a particular part of your brain starts to, to uh, deteriorate. deteriorate, and then and, and you lose that filter. You kind of don't. The, the, it's the, called the, IDGIAF. I don't give a <laughs> bub bu- 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 <laughs> The part of your brain that tells you what's kind of right and wrong or or the, nah. yeah. well, somebody in the texting service said it, ha- it, I believe happens it does, Savannah. after a frontal stroke did he have that mm, i don't know yeah, yeah. but but i i know that do we is that for sure is that because i think that's one of those urban myths that we've told so ourselves that we've told ourselves this over and over and over because every person texting in every we all have that uh grandpa or that aunt or uncle that hits that age where they're just like yellow have everything haven't, <laughs> i mean look all of us have parents haven't we noticed that a lot of our parents seem to 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 not give them much of a f as they get older uh-uh, always I mean, yeah, been but that that's way. not because that's not scientifically proven i'm just saying uh, that's because they're just tired well, I'm Tech- doing an experiment in my house, and I can tell you, it seems as if, it seems as if uh, the older you get, the more you don't care what anybody thinks. Texting service checking in, 77031. I work for an Alzheimer's nonprofit, and people lose their filter and act like that when they have Alzheimer's and dementia. I've been asked for a kiss, or if they can, quote, rock my butt. Uh, <laughs> rock my butt. <laughs> my grandma had a stroke, uh-huh. and then when she got better, um... Yes, she she, she would say lots of hate. She would say lots of hateful things before she had the stroke, but she would say them quietly. Then she decided to say them like if my mom would walk across the room, she would be like, "Whew, your mama sure is fat." <laughs> And then she'd look at me and wink, and my mom would say, Grandma, why'd you say that? And she'd go, I didn't say nothing, did I? Uh, the texting service actually <laughs> did I has, say so? has a great solution. What do you think the texting service says the solution easily would be for Stan Lee? For Stan Lee what? Yeah, male nurses. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Why would he want that? He's yeah. Stan Lee. He should hire a bevy of hoes look, to take care of him. And let me ask a question. Okay, so through, said he had th- through Stan Lee's entire life, he's never been accused of any of this. Okay, they're saying this is only happening now. So as he's 95 years old, should this really be a, a way to remember Stan Lee? He's been he's been well liked and well received yeah. his entire life. He's 95 now. He's doing a little some stuff that's kind of crazy. It, it's not even fair that it's making the news. I don't think. I really, mean, I don't. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. If I agree with that, I mean, I don't think age gives you a pass uh, to, you know, harass or assault somebody sexually, Russ. I mean, I, I mean, would you say the same thing if he raped somebody or shot him? At 95 years old, I don't think he's going to rape anybody. And at 95 uh-huh. years old, I, I don't think he's in the same mental capacity as he was when he was, you know, uh, 50 years old. Yeah. It's, 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 you know, what if so he, he has, did it when he, he was 50? An, he has an entire life. Well, it's a different story. But he has an entire life where he's he's a great guy everybody loves. And then when he's 95, he grabs a couple of lasses and he says some things that are out of line. And now So that, you're, you're condoning it? No, I don't think it's fair that that's making news now and he's had an entire life of being a good guy. I, he's not, this is not going to bring him down. You don't think? No, no not, not even, I don't, not even but close. I mean, I, that, I mean I, he's got a, what, a year tops? 
Yeah, but I mean that mentality of like just because you're a good person doesn't mean that you get a pass to do something bad. It doesn't, but uh, it does not. But I, that's it, that, it, that, that's kind of what you're saying. No, though. what I'm saying is I don't know that it, he deserved to make news about something he's done with you know as he's an old, really old yeah, man. Yeah, I mean I see what you're saying, dude. I mean I get the value of what you're saying, and, but it just sounds sounds odd, especially in the environment we're in right now. And you know? as you're checking out in life before you uh, hit the grave, you, you're looking at the news and everyone's calling you this, you know, uh, some sort of you know some sort of a uh, sexual harasser when he's yeah. never really done that. Yeah. I don't think it's fair. Hold on. I, we got a, an exclusive interview. <laughs> On the line with us right now is, uh, <laughs> is Stan Lee. Is, is it? Oh, well, hello. It's me, Stan Lee, everyone's favorite grandpa, who's <clears throat> told you the most wonderful stories the world has ever seen. Yeah, Stan, you, you created uh, you created Spider-Man. That's right. And uh, Iron Man. Correct. And uh, what, what are some of the other... Uh, you know, well, yeah, the list goes character. on and on. Aquaman, Black Panther, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. And the list goes on and on. You hit a couple of them, right? That's good. Oh, uh, I've done them all in my brain, and and I just want to thank, thank you guys, guys for, for supporting, supporting all, all of my, my films, films and, and all, all of my, my TV, TV shows, uh, like Superhuman on the Sci-Fi Network, okay. which you can check out every week <laughs> on Wednesday. Uh, Stan, uh, so now you're in. Now you're in the news for uh, possible uh, sexual harassment against nurses that uh, that uh-huh. uh, that take care of you. Uh, and what would you like to say about that, Stan? I would like to say these allegations are ridiculous. Excuse me one second, Keisha. Can you come over here and rub my ass for a second? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey bunches of oats. Uh, I talk to these women here like as if they were my friends. And I think these are, hold on one second. Uh-huh. Who wants to touch an old man's balls? <laughs> Stan! Anybody here want to touch an old man's balls? Stan, that's not, uh, uh, you know, in these day and times, you can't say that anymore. Yeah, I look, Stan, we understand you had a traumatic loss a couple months ago. Your wife that's passed. true. And yes. I um, know yes. that uh, you probably, you know, it's worked up a little bit. Oh, so your, your wife passed? Two months oh, ago. Yeah. Oh, yes, I, I, I really don't. Want to talk about that, especially in front of my new girlfriend, Shay Shay. Shay Shay! <laughs> over here, girl. I saw you at the club twerking it. Why don't you come on over to Grandpa and do a little Iron Man suit on that ass? <laughs> Stan, I want to read some of the things that they, they've quoted here, okay. and you tell me uh, if it's true or false. It says All that- of these allegations are not true. I am a special human being. I am America's and the world's grandfather. Nurses say that you take pleasure in uh, taking all your clothes off and walking around naked and just laughing at them uh, because it makes them so uncomfortable. True or false? <laughs> now that's true and I'm doing it right now. Yeah. Helicopter! Yeah. Helicopter! Oh, hey. North Carolina. I'm looking for he's helicoptering away. <laughs> now Stan, the texting, yeah. the, the texting service is checking in, okay. and they said at 95 years old, it must be like trying to shove an oyster in a slot machine. Oh, who wrote that? A comedian? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> uh, Tell him I'm worth a billion dollars, and I'll crush him and his family. Stan, <laughs> any, any truth to the fact? Once again, it says here that you you uh, grope the nurses by grabbing their their asses uh, uh, without their permission. Oh, uh, true or false? I don't know. Uh, this is how it works. Hey, Bethany, you want to kind of grab your ass? Here, here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> oh, wait. No, wait, not the Pakata! Uh, oh, yeah, that's where it started from. It actually started from me. That stealer Carlos is a damn thief. <laughs> Look, I am 95 years old, and I'm a feeble old man, and I don't know what I'm doing. So if any of the ladies here would like to French kiss old Thor, I'm very happy to allow See, you to. Old I, Thor. Stan, I, I was trying to defend you and say that you, you know, you're oh. kind of out of your mind, and you, and you can't help it. You sound like you pretty much know what you're talking about right now. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm as sharp as a tack, like the sting from the wasp that comes out this year with Ant-Man, and I'll have a cameo in it. They basically prop me up as if I'm a dummy at Ross, dress me, tell me the words to say, and then take me back home where I can go back to grabbing nurses' asses. Now, that I explains, have the best life. That explains the Volcom t-shirt. You, uh, yes. you, you're an icon in, in, in the comic book world. The comic I books sure have taken am. over uh, movies and everything, so you're an icon uh, all the way around the world. Uh, how do you feel about being portrayed like this as a sexual harasser uh, right before you, you know, you're knocking on death's door? 
Let's see here. I'm a billionaire. I'm 95 years old. And all day I grab different Brazilian and black <laughs> asses. I don't give a... I'm Stan Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I am gr- I'm an international grandpa. These allegations <laughs> are false, and all I want to do is have a back rub by Bethany. It says here that uh, you're, this is your lawyer speaking, Stan. Stan Lee's lawyers uh, had a statement. Yeah. They said Mr. Lee categorically denies uh, these false... Uh, <laughs> despicable allegations, and he fully intends to fight uh, to protect yep. the stellar good name that he's had for many years and his impeccable impe- impeccable character. Yep. yep, impeccable character. That is true. These allegations, some of them may be true, only the ones that make me sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I didn't realize this, Stan, but you were, I mean, you sound pretty vivate. You were married for 70 years. Oh, 70 years, and every day we hit it twice whether we needed it or not. That's great, Stan. That's <laughs> awesome true. to hear. And these That's allegations true. are only the past couple months, they're saying. It's, it, 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 he's never been accused of anything like this before. So he lost his wife. He's a little bit yeah. older now. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that's all those things. That's why I'm allowed to. Hey, anybody here? Rub my back, then keep going down to my butt, <laughs> and then keep going down to the black hole and find hey, 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 my God, man. You can find a little Star Lord down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I got I'm- a mixtape to that, too. <laughs> Well, I personally am behind you, Stan Lee. I, I, you yeah. know, I think it's unfair. This is making the news now. I mean, you've had how's, your, how's your Groot? Uh, my Groot is fine, but my Doctor Strange is better. Oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling, Stan Lee. Uh, don't forget to see the new Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> coming out in 2014. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, he's, he's, a, uh, he's a plug machine. Yeah, well, he's just a little, a little off on the dates you know there. I, I was trying to argue that he's lost his mind a little bit, but he had enough sense to, to plug, plug, plug. Pretty sharp. And uh, sounded like he was awesome. pretty sharp. Huh, I don't know. <laughs> he's a genius. You know, I think you can't be mad at him. Not, I, I just, I don't know. Well, Sounds like you learned from another 90-year-old. And why didn't he have those people sign confidentiality agreements anyway? Hey, yeah. Wasn't the same thing when uh, H, was H. Bush, like the first Bush, uh, George Bush, didn't he? Hey, H. Bush H. yourself. Bush. He, 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 was, he was doing a little grabby. Uh, what was, yeah, yeah. Who's my favorite ma- uh, magician? Uh, David Cop- grabby, Copperfield? Yeah, or David Copperfield. <laughs> Copperfield, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And because he was older, everybody's like, okay, he's an old man. Yeah. You know. It's, yeah, you don't want to ruin his legacy. Well, that's it. So why yeah. would you want to ruin the legacy of Stan Lee if you don't want to ruin the legacy I, I, of uh, George Bush? I completely understand what you're saying. It just sounds weird when you say And guys, I don't think that was Stan Lee. I'm sorry. I don't you think, don't that, think that, that was him. I, I got a thing. I, I was, was listening him. to it. Whatever. In Stan Lee room. loves the monsters. <laughs> as far as I, I know so. about Stan Lee, that was him. Guy Legally, says, uh, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah. That, was, that was Stan Lee because he's going to write a comic about yeah. us. <laughs> guy from Deltona is pretty pissed off. He just texted and he said, I'm pretty mad about that phone call. Um, spitting out my beer. <laughs> Well, uh, Stan Lee did say he invented That it. sounds like Del Toto. He said he invented Aquaman, and we all know that's a DC thing. So oh, he, maybe, that's right. Maybe, he, maybe it wasn't him. Yeah, you're right. Oh, way you're to be right. a nerd, Russ. <laughs> way to be a comic yeah. book nerd. Like, uh, no, that, what else are you going to? Legally, that covers us. That's yeah, good. There you go. <laughs> Well, I don't think anyone really. <laughs> the bucket off. Uh, I mean. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so he, he he would ask, when he takes a shower, uh, he would ask the nurses for oral sex. My God, dude, that's the Weinstein, right? Uh, Wasn't the Weinstein coming out of the shower with a robe on, open in the front and stuff? Yeah, yeah. but then he would go to a fern. Yeah, 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 yeah. A fern. Yeah. Oh, a plant. But uh, but Stanley, it's all right for him to ask. At least he's asking. That's true. Yeah. I mean. At least he's asking and not being like, get on your knees. <laughs> you know, I, I bet money if you opened up, like, if you, let's say you were going to, you know, do an online application. Right. And say, hey, you know, nurses needed. The client is a high profile person in the entertainment industry. Here's the caveat. Occasionally, this dude's going to ask you for some sex, sexual stuff, and you may get a random pat on the ass. It pays $30 more thousand dollars a year than a regular nursing job. There'd be a line from here oh, to Chicago. Yeah. You know, oh, dude, from you talk here to, to Chicago. If you talk to those stay home nurses that do this kind of stuff and they could tell us the stories that they've experienced already, we would be dumbfounded. This I'm, stuff happens all the time I'm at so that the, level. A lot of nurses yeah. are probably listening to us right now dealing with older guys. I, 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 I had uh, someone, just or just uh, nurses that work ERs. I, I, I knew someone that worked at an uh, old folks home and she would have to deal with stuff like that. Them saying all kinds of things that are that are off, you know, but th- they're in their 90s. What are yeah. you going to do? You know? 